I'm going to show you how to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector. So in this example, it says find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the points A, which is at minus 5, 1, and B, which is at 7, minus 2. So over here, I've just drawn a rough sketch just to help us visualize what's happening in this question. Here is the line segment AB, and this dashed line here is what we call the perpendicular bisector. So it's perpendicular because the two lines make an angle of 90 degrees with each other, and it's a bisector because this dashed line bisects the line AB. It cuts the line AB exactly in half. Okay, so this point of an intersection here I've labelled as N because this is the midpoint of the line AB. Okay, this point is exactly halfway along the line AB. So there are a few steps we need to follow to be able to work out the equation of the perpendicular bisector. First, we're going to work out the gradient of the line AB. From there, we can write down the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Then, before we can work out the equation to the perpendicular bisector, we need to know the coordinates of at least one point along this line. So, we have the coordinates of A and B. So, from there, you can work out the midpoint of this line, which gives you the coordinates to point N, and then you can use those coordinates along with the gradient to be able to work out the equation of that line, okay? So let's start with the first step, working out the gradient of the straight line AB. Okay, so to work out the gradient of the line AB, I'm going to use a method called rise over run. That just means we're going to work out the difference between the y values and divide by the difference between the x values, okay? And this is how we always work out the gradient of a straight line, okay? So I'm going to start with the rise, so the y values, and remember we're subtracting because we're working out the difference. So I'm going to do 1, take away, negative 2, and then divide by the difference in the x values, so negative 5, take away 7. And it doesn't matter which way around you subtract these points, okay? If you did these numbers minus the A coordinates, you, you would get exactly the same gradient, okay? So let's calculate this. 1 take away negative 2 is the same as 1 plus 2, which is 3. And negative 5 take away 7 is negative 12. Both of these numbers are divisible by 3, so we can simplify the fraction and we get negative a quarter, okay? So this is the gradient of the line AB. Now, we need to write down the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Okay, so PB. So, when two lines are perpendicular to each other, like in this diagram here, if you take their two different gradients together and multiply them together, you should always get negative one. Okay, so if we take this gradient here, negative a quarter, and times it by g, the gradient of the perpendicular line, we should get negative 1 because they're perpendicular, okay? This is a rule that you need to remember. So to work out the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, you have to divide by negative a quarter on both sides, and if you divide negative 1 by negative a quarter, you get positive 4, okay? So that is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. Now, an easy way of just remembering what this is, is the sign will always change. So if this gradient is negative, this one will always be positive and vice versa. And then if you look at the numbers, you're finding the reciprocal of a quarter. So if you like, you're like switching the fraction upside down, uh, four over one is the same as four, okay? Now, number three, we're working out the coordinates of the midpoint, N, okay? So if you're working out the coordinates of a midpoint, what you have to do is take the x-coordinates of the two endpoints, A and B, add them together and divide by 2, okay? And that will give you the x-coordinate of N. Then you do the same thing with the y-values. You add them together and then you divide by 2 and that will give you the y-coordinate of N, okay? So let's do that next. So I'm going to add together the x-coordinates, so negative 5 plus 7 then I have to divide by 2, and always dividing by 2 because the midpoint is halfway along the line AB. Then we're going to do the same thing with the y values, so 1 plus negative 2 divided by 2, and now we're going to calculate that, okay? 
So if I look at the x coordinates first, so here, negative 5 plus 7 is 2, and if I divide that by 2, I get 1. And here, 1 take away 2 is negative 1, and if I divide that by a half, I get negative a half. Okay, so these are the coordinates of the midpoint n. Next, we have to use the gradient and the coordinates of the midpoint to write down the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now, it's a straight line, so I'm going to write it in this form, y equals mx plus c. Remember, when it's rearranged like this, so that y is the subject, m is always the gradient, and c is what we call the y-intercept. So far, we know what the gradient is, 4, so I can change m to 4, and we also have a set of coordinates along the line, the perpendicular bisector, m, okay? So I can substitute the x and y values from here into the equation as well, okay? So then, all that's left to work out is c, the y-intercept, and then we can put it all together to write down the equation at the end, okay? So all I'm doing here is substituting the y value of the midpoint, so negative a half. Then I'm substituting in n, the gradient, which is 4. And I'm multiplying that by the x coordinate of the midpoint, which is 1. And then I'm adding c. Okay, so 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. So if I simplify, it's looking like this. And then if I want to solve this equation to find c, the one step, I have to subtract 4 on both sides. So c is negative 4 and a half. Okay, so now we have to group it all together because we have to find the equation. So the equation is going to look like this. y equals 4x, because remember the gradient is 4. Then we have to add c, the one to set, which is negative 4.5. And that is the equation of the perpendicular bisector.